Hello everyone. You're welcome to Few Cool Mathematics. Here we provide detailed solution to math problems. So this is the question we have before us today. Square root of square root of x is equal to square root of x over 2. And we are to provide the solution to this. Now this is simple. This is what you should do. Square root of square root of x. That means, okay, in here you're having square root of x to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, remember, x to the power of 1 over 2 means square root of x. Okay, so this will be the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2 all over 2 because of the square root. Now, we are having another square root outside again, so this means that we are going to have x to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 because of the bigger square root there. And this will be equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 2. Now, there is a law that says we can always multiply the powers, right? So this means we have x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. And then we have x to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 2. From here, we are going to have x to the power of 1 over 4. Because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. And the whole of this is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 all over 2. This is what we have. And now the next thing is for us to remove this um, power of 1 over 4. And we can do that by multiplying the power here by 4. So we're going to have x to the power of 1 over 4 multiplied by 4 equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 over 2. The whole of this multiplied by 4. Now, this is what I will do. This will cancel this, and x is free, and it is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 4 all over 2 to the power of 4. So that's from here. We have x to be equal to 2 can cancel, can go into 4 2 times. So meaning we have x squared over there, all over 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 will give us 16. And at this point, we are going to cross multiply because this is over 1. Now, x squared times 1 will give us x squared. And this is equal to 16 times x, which is um, 16x. Now, we are having a quadratic equation. Let's bring everything to the left so that x squared minus 16x will be equal to 0. We can solve this equation by factorization so that um, x will come out. We have x minus 16 and this will be equal to 0. Now use 0 product rule. Zero, um, x is equal to 0 or x minus 16 is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0 here, then x on this side will be 0 minus, okay, 0 plus 16, and that is 16. Therefore, x is equal to 0 or 16. But then, we are not sure whether this is correct or not, so let's go back and check. The original equation is square root of square root of x equal to square root of x over 2. Now let's see if the two sides are going to be equal. If I have um, square root of square root of 0 to be equal to square root of 0 over 2, it is obvious that both sides will be 0 because square root of 0 is 0 and then square root of um, 0 over 2 will still give us 0 because any number divided by 0 okay any um, 0 divided by 2 is 0 
Now this means that x to be equal to 0 is correct. Now let us try x to be equal to 16. We have square root of square root of x to be equal to square root of x over, over 2. Now if x is 16, I have square root of square root of x. And okay, the x now is 16. That means I have 16 in here. And that will be equal to square root of 16 over 2. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Remember, if you find the square root of 16, this is the same thing as square root of um, 4. Because square root of square root of 16, you find the square root of 16 first, which is 4. And then, okay, square root of um, 16 here is 4. That means we're having 4 over 2, right? Then square root of 4 is 2. And then square root of, okay, here we're having 4 over 2 now, which will give us 2. So we have, we have both sides balanced. This means that x to be equal to 16 is also satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching. And these are the two solutions now. x is equal to 0 and then x is equal to 16. Both of them satisfy the equation.